in some cases there are situations where we need to perform some mathematical operations although we can perform all those operations by using our custom logic but in c sharp programming language there are couple of built in methods as well all these built in methods are available under the math class so there is one math class and that math class has couple of methods we can use all those methods to work on the mathematical operations let's understand what it is this is the class which is math and it is available under this system let's quickly have a look on this class so you can notice we are having this static partial class and this is the name you can notice over here we are having so many methods right we can use all those methods over here you can use this log log 2 log 10 power if you need to find out the power then the sine square root sine cos so there are so many things over here let's try with the basic one so for example if i need to find out which is the largest number among two then i can also use this class so let's do that for example here i'm having this int a is equals to 10 and int b is equals to 20 right if i need to find out which number is larger in both of them then i can use let's assume it is c so there is one method in this math dot max and here i can pass both of them and i can display the value on this console window by using this c variable let's run this application here you can notice we are getting the output which is 20 although you can find out this largest number without using this math.max method but this is something that is built in now here is a question for you what if i need to find out the largest number in between these two numbers without using this math library then how can i do that it is very simple i can simply use that comparison operator for example if a is greater than b right so here i can write console dot right line if a is greater than it means a is largest so here i can write a else in the else section i can simply write let's use this same code over here and let's use this b so if a is greater than b then obviously this part will work if it is not true then this part will work so let's comment both these two lines and let's just run this application you can see we are getting this 20 over here so why i'm telling this why i'm not using this math root max so basically you might face a couple of questions in your interview where you need to find out these kind of operations and if you are using this math library then the interviewer may ask you to calculate this logic without using this math library right then in that case you have to write your custom logic like this be prepared whatever we are learning in this class you need to apply the custom logic for that also now let's focus on this math class there are so many other methods as well for example if i need to find out the minimum number you can notice if i will run this application we are getting the minimum number which is 10. now let's assume that i need to create a program to calculate the area of a circle to calculate the area of a circle we need the radius let me remove this entire thing and let's assume the radius is r and let's say it is 10. to find out the area what i need console dot right line basically i need that pi r square so i need the value of the pi what is pi pi is 3.14 or 22 by 7 so here i'm writing this where area is equals to pi which is 3.14 multiply by r and again multiply by r this is how we can calculate the area of a circle and if i write the value over here let's run it and see what is the output this is the output that we are getting over here but again if you do not want to use this hard coded value you can also get it by using the math library so we are having this math class and there is this pi over here right let's click on this one you can notice that this is a constant this is basically a field under this math and you can use that one what's the value of this pi it is again 3.14 it is not easy to remember all these things so instead of remembering all these things you can simply use this math.py there are a couple of more things over here you can basically use all of them if you want to find out the absolute value then you can use this abs and in this abs you need to just pass the value and you will get the absolute value right and this is the exact implementation of this method so instead of using that abs method you can also write the custom logic like this just like the concept i was talking about the interview if the interviewer is asking you not to use these built-in methods just simply use the logic so basically this is the logic
that is something you have to implement so these are some ceiling methods there are some more floor methods as well you can use any one of them based on the need so i'm not going to demonstrate all those things over here this is just the very basic introduction of this math class i would highly recommend you to quickly have a look on this math class and just try to implement all the methods or most of the methods by yourself by creating the proper programs